Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Southern Iowa. Um, got you on right? We got you on right. We are going to kick off the spring vlog here this morning because planting season's coming all the way up, which actually I can start planting this weekend, which is Easter weekend, but don't think we're going to be doing that. Um, might still be a little bit too wet. We are, however, probably going to try and plant oats today. I got a delivery on the way, but as you can see, I am uh, hopping into the Kubota skid steer. We got the trailer of doom set up here this morning. I've uh, been going around trying to uh, basically trim up terraces and uh, field edges of like little saplings and stuff that have grown and into fields. Um, taking care of those. Deli like did I say delivery and stuff. Uh, should be a good, fun video. And uh, it's nice to be back in the field doing some field work. Re-energizes you. Get you going for the 2024 growing season. I think that's it. Let's get to work. Oh, hit the thumbs up button for me. Let's get going. So what we have here is uh, me tipping off the back end of this trailer. But this is uh, the rut manufacturing skid steer mower that I bought last fall. Oh, there we go. It's turning out to be a pretty handy little deal. Oh, it's a lot better if you don't do that. Problem running a skid steer with one hand. But basically, um, kind of exactly what I'm doing here is what I uh, thought I would do with this skid with this mower is to be able to load it up onto a trailer, quickly move from one field to the other, do a pass around the field, bust back uh, tree limbs, clean up the field edge, make it you know nicer to farm the next growing season or this growing season by this chance. So I'll show you kind of a couple of things that it's capable of. See how close we can get to them. They're having a bar fight. They're gone. about 50 minutes and I have got to be back at a shed to get this delivery so we're doing all right we'll have this fence line cleaned up here Go figure. 
gotta watch out for these thorny locust trees. Ouch! I'm getting poked from everywhere right now. Ah! Oh. Dangerous. Okay, so we're back here. I'm gonna get loaded up to uh, get my oats on so we can go plant some oats today. But I have delivery, Colton's here. Colton is from Coke Agronomics uh, and we've got some protivate getting delivered. Man, how's it going? Good, morning. Morning, how you doing? Good. So this is Colton. Um, you wanna introduce yourself? Kind of? Yeah, I'm, I'm Colton Greiner. I'm a territory sales representative for Coke Agronomic Services. Um, cover the whole state of Iowa, work with retailers across the whole state, um, you know, still still have a hand in my family farm up by up by Kyoto. So um, it's nice to see both sides of the industry, you know, at one as a grower and, and one as a sales rep. So we're going to be doing a couple of trials this year and we're going to be using Protovate. comes in these tubs right here. This is something that interests me because it's not necessarily like a starter replacement and you'll probably hear me say kind of using it as a starter because we don't have liquid on our planter this year, or we don't have liquid on any of our planters to use as a starter. What Protivate's gonna do is possibly provide us some yield benefits, some ROI with, and actually some nutrients with kind of replacing your graft top as you put it into your planter. You wanna explain that a little better than I just did? Absolutely, yeah, so it's, I mean, it's not a, it's not a starter replacement by any means. I would say if you're going out there with a starter, don't cut that out of your program, but one thing you know most growers do use is an 80/20. So, you know this is a planter box treatment. Comes in 9.4 pound pails. It does 50 units of corn, 50 units of beans. I think one thing that's that's great about it is, like you said, it's something they're already using in their operation, and this way it provides some nutritional value. So I mean, you're looking at phosphorus, zinc, manganese, and, and nitrogen. I mean, zinc and phosphorus are two huge things for for early season plant health. So I can see on the on the tub here, we got 212 O. You wanna explain how, a little bit more about that? Yeah, so 212 O, you got, you got your 2% nitrogen, you got your 12% phosphorus, um, you know, you have 2% manganese and you have 9% zinc. So if you look across the industry, other products in this space, they're not gonna have 12% phosphorus or 9% zinc. It's, it's a pretty huge nutrient load. So what I'm excited about is that we have lower productivity fields. Actually, Wayne and Appanoose County are two of the lowest, you know, uh, APH across the county counties in Iowa that we farm in. And a lot of the times our fertility level is not quite there. So I think that we have a really good chance of having a response by actually using this in our fields here. So how do we actually kind of get this applied? Yeah, so I mean, just the same way you'd you'd apply your 80 20 you know whether you're up whether you're up at your bulk fill and you're dumping it in as you're as you're filling your your boxes or if you have a talc apple applicator on your on your seed tender you can apply it that way as well this is something that we're going to be learning about all season long here um we're going to do uh, about two trials on soybeans and we're going to do one trial on corn uh put them kind of head to head to see how they happen to help out well on the literature it's saying that you know early planted soybeans and actually today is the 28th and we can start planting soybeans tomorrow the 29th it's we're probably going to go through easter weekend and then start planting so we're going to be some doing some really early soybeans again this year uh then hammer on to corn so we're going to do some side-by-side -side stuff we'll be looking at the emergence and then actually yield by the end of the year when you think about a regular iowa season it seems like we're planting earlier and earlier every year so um it's cold, it's wet right now. I think it's a, a perfect opportunity to utilize something like Protivate in your, you know, in your program. And, and I think you'll see some response because you have about 6% increase on cold germ. Uh, so regular Iowa seeding rate, 35,000 plants per acre. You're thinking roughly 2,100 extra plants are getting up, getting out of the ground, uniform, and uh, you're, you're off to a better start. And the best part about this is, is everybody wants to improve their planter. They want to improve how things are going. Usually it comes with needing to upgrade the technology, hang a whole bunch of more parts onto your planter. And with this is some way that we can improve our planting by just buying a product. So where do people actually get this if they want to try some of it on their farm? So you can go to getgreatergrowth.com or you can just talk to your local retailer and say you're interested. Yep. So... There you go. We're going to be doing this trials. We'll be bringing Colton back as we go throughout the, the growing season here, but let's get back to work. 
So next thing on the list is to get the oats onto uh, the trailer here because we're going to be bucking them all by hand. We are planting. What are we planting this year? Rushmore? Rushmore oats? That's what we're planting this year. Rushmore oats. It turns out they've got the fertilizer spread on the uh, oat ground and it's dry enough to do tillage. So let's go do tillage. Dad and Andrew are getting uh, the 8110 to get it ready to be put onto the drill. Dad went and got the drill from the Wayne County FSA office, NRS, or NRCS office. Um, renting the drill from them. I was going to try and plant with the Kinsey planter. Um, we can actually plant oats with both of them now. The both of the 15, the split row, twin row, twin line. The 3600 and 3605. We have the ability to plant small grains with both of those. But dad doesn't want to do 15 inchers, which I'm okay with. We got the time, it sounds like, to. Uh, drill it we're going to a 15 foot drill do a 15 foot drill they're going to get that set up kind of the plan with this is is the same as we tried a few years ago grow oats instead of trying to do a spring seeding which has been a pain in the butt um, but we're going to grow oats get good straw off of it clean straw off of it um, then around the state fair time turn around and uh, seed the alfalfa right on into this. I wouldn't say master plan, but that's that's kind of what we got going on. Grow good oats, get a good seed bed, and uh, grow good alfalfa. Okay, so Dad and Andrew have brought the 8110 over here. We got uh, the drill apparently hooked up to it. Had to get the ag leader in there for them. Get it programmed up, but they supposedly have this thing ready to go. As you can tell, she's uh, got signs of being a, a rental drill. <laughs> but 1590. I feel like I've pulled this drill before. That or I pulled the 10 foot drill. I pulled one of them before. <sighs> Can I comment on my driving speed? Yeah, you bent a step back there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> say there's five per there's five per sure not six you had the top one there you already got two one two three four five yeah there's five per and one two three four let's put the 20 in instead of i don't know not a bad idea. 12 would give us enough supposedly to do 11 no, six acres. Covering the bottom trough. A little over the bottom trough. Right here is your seed level indicator. Or what the mice have left of it. That, that doesn't work really good anymore. Surprise! Definitely gonna So Andrew's in the hot box over there. Quad track needs some Freon put in it. I think we'll do, do that next. We put six acres of bean, of oats in here. Six acres worth of seed for oats. And that's flashing, sorry. But basically it says 4.4 4 acres. 4.48, 4 four and a half acres basically. And uh, I'll get out and I'll look. I uh, put six acres in 
kind of know what it should look like with about an acre left in there and uh, as long as that's going good I've adjusted the depth on it I might set the depth a little bit deeper one more time when I go to fill up here um, kind of wanted to get going straight before I mess with the depth too terrible much um, it's not bad it's, it's actually pretty good might just do one more click deeper and uh, then probably fill this up and unless dad wants to come do this for the rest of the night we'll have a lot of oak planting to go but I think we got the rate set I think the depth is just about set right and so it's steering right we'll just be on to uh, planting notes Welcome back. We're back this morning. I got it loaded up last night, ready to roll. Start this tractor before I do some yoga. This post here is called, you're gonna hurt your knees crawling across the drill. Change the depth gauge wheels. So my dad's about here, he's gonna be taking this over and I'm gonna go do tillage. But I think I got a plug tube right now. Looks like it'll do okay. Well, Dad's taking over. And uh, I'm gonna go do some tillage. Anybody else do this? Lunchbox hack when you run out of uh, bread out of there, you just use the sandwich bag to wrap your sandwiches. Lunch uh, that there is uh, the high school chicken sandwich. Field goals have found me. It found my hood too. Sunday for us is uh, Easter and uh, actually today I can start planting soybeans because we did this thing called the early plant buy up for insurance which 
doesn't mean that you can. I, I don't should I say this? You can plant soybeans whenever you want to plant soybeans. So nobody's saying the plant soybeans at a certain time. If that makes sense. But because we buy up our insurance, um, it's just a replant insurance type of thing, which changes if, say, it frosts off. Um, that as soon as we replant one acre, um, it'll pay for it. And then also, uh, basically, which otherwise it was like 20 acres or 20 percent. And then it also gives us 12 days ahead of the normal insurance date so that puts it which our normal insurance date is the uh 10th i believe and that means that we're at the 29th which is today uh obviously the 8110 is the bean planting tractor and uh we kind of are ready to plant beans um we in theory could be planting beans maybe we should be planting beans this is how it happens but uh, kind of the plan is to make it through the weekend here. I'm going to try. Um, we only bought up a county's worth. That probably was really confusing. But whatever. We, we got also a chance of rain coming on Monday. So it's kind of like a two-edged prong here. My favorite thing to plan into. And you guys can give me your opinions on this. I love planting into a stale seed bed. And so what a stale seed bed is, is ground that's been tilled and then it's uh, been rained on and then basically uh, kind of dries out, kind of crusts up a little bit. That is my favorite thing to plant into. Um, I've had soybeans get crusted on and they can't deal with that. So the risk you're running right now is, is hopefully we, with doing this tillage, we've got it greening up a little bit um, because of the warm weather we've had. So we're gonna eliminate a chemical pass, which is basically the trade-off for the tillage. But hopefully we get it to be warmer and drier to plant into is kind of what we want. But it seems like it dries out quicker if it hasn't been tilled, but then tilling it dries it out. So, that's the double-edged sword part. Perfect scenario, we get a little bit of rain and then uh, turn around and throw this county's of beans in and Got a little shed collection going on. There's one. Decent. This one's pretty cool though. There's a, there's actually a set here. See them? That's a set. Kinda cool, got a fork in it. Beat up. Add him. So we're gonna finish this oat project here today. Um, I'm gonna be back in the hot seat. Forgot the monitor, dang it. Uh, Dad made it to he like 83 acres last night. He ran completely out of seed, so he said he checked it at 80, and he thought he could make it to 83, so he's gonna have to redo an acre or two. Things are clipping along. We've got a duct tape job going on on a drive mechanism. Um, something slipping there or something like that, he said. Doesn't surprise me. These uh, these drills kind of seem like they get worn out pretty quickly. So the NRCS office kind of provides it to the public so that if they want to go plant CRP or something like that, they, they can do that. But I'm jumping back in to go do some until he decides to show up for work this morning. Um, and then I'll go back into the quad track, till for a little while today, and then hopefully I'm... Uh, I'm headed to Easter. Looks good out there through even the bird crap on the window. Gonna have something done here for the year. 
get that first check mark. We had a little breakdown, but dad's got like four acres left to do. Um, then we're, uh, we uh, got the oats in the ground. But I'm taking off. Completely different project. Head off to Easter. That's it. That's it. We got the first bit of crop in the ground. So thanks for hanging out with us. Dad don't have a hat on. I would say that. If you haven't yet, hit the thumbs up button on the way out. Oats are going to be growing. So we got some oat action, straw action. Things are greening up. Time to be alive. See you in the next one.